Hey everybody, I'm Charles Morgan from Comic Week, and this is Brianna Beebe Hi. from Alpha Comics. We're back. We had a, a snafu, technical snafu, last week because uh, our microphone gave out in the middle of the uh, presentation, and so you missed all our great jokes. And also, the ghost of Jack Kirby stopped by very unexpectedly, and you missed that. So yeah, it's it unfortunate. But anyway, we have this week's new comic books. Uh, we have a lot of number ones, actually more number ones than number twos or any other number yeah. on the. Uh, chronological order, sequential order, uh, but we'll get into what we're reading, and uh, why don't you start first? Rescue 2020, or 2020 Rescue, how Diamond kind of organized it. She's going to be getting her own book, which is very exciting. There's two covers. This is the variant. I just thought this one was particularly pretty. Uh, and then Flash 750. This is my favorite cover. There's a whole slew of covers, um, so if you want to get kind of into a milestone issue for Flash, that's there. Iron Man 2020. Iron Man 2020 is enjoying the highlighter colors. Uh, there's been like a bright pink and a bright green, and I don't know how I feel about it. It definitely pops. So, I mean, it's got that going for it. Well, if you like that neon color, there's a Wolverine, like a comic uh, convention exclusive with like that highlighter yellow color in the background. No, thank you. It's really That's great. so bright. And then Strange Adventures. Um, a lot of people are very excited uh, because this is the same creative team that did uh, Mr. Miracle. Uh, so I've had a lot of people talking about it. So what will happen in this? I like the uh, graffiti on the cover, yeah. too. That's kind of Stranger neat. Danger, Space Liar. Um, and then also Marvel uh, Comics 1000 has a fancy hardcover edition that's going to be coming out, um, which is all, all wonderful. Uh, Marvel Comics 1000 being that anthology issue to get to 1000, which I'm not quite sure how we did it, but we did. So are they going to have hardcover editions of Marvel Comics 1 through 999 to go along with that? I hope not. I don't even know if they exist. I don't think they do. But there I'm is not. a Marvel Comics 1001, amazingly. Those are all yes. the stories they couldn't cram into the, In, into the, the other one without making it like a graphic novel. That's right. Well, there's some titles I'm reading this week and buying a lot of. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to be going completely uh, uh, $200 deep into Mercy, number one, variant covers. Uh, how many did you guys end up getting before they got all sure. sold out? I think it's like six or seven. Six or seven, or yeah. Ridiculous. Tons of exclusives. This is basically uh, unnatural with uh, different characters and a sort of a dark kind of uh, gothic. Uh, sort it's of giving me a lot of Lady Mechanica vibes, but different. Like, it's not the same, but um, it might be a cool one to pick up if you're kind of into the gothic horror Victorian style-esque. It's not yeah. as steampunk. It's going to be more towards Victorian era-esqueness. But it is it the art and it looks really great. Um, yeah, it's got some uh, it's got some squeaky bed panels going on. Also, we have Batman number ninety here. This is the variant, of course. Uh, don't expect to see too many of these in your local comic book shop. The Batman eighty nine's uh, pretty much sold out immediately. You had the uh, Hell Risen sold mm -hmm. out immediately. Uh, there's some more Punchline. Uh, he looks like he's a member of D twelve. You know Eminem's rap group. He's got the white mask with a red D on it. Yeah, if you're excited for these books, give your shop a heads up. Because, like, I know book, uh, Batman 92 has been going very quickly for ours. Um, and we haven't even done the final order cutoff for it yet. Right. Uh, Magnificent number, uh, Magnificent Miss Marvel number 13 will have a new character. This is Amulet. He's uh, sort of, a, uh, I guess, a, an Arabic uh, superhero for the Marvel Universe. So there's that. And uh, then, of course, you have, uh, I guess this is the end of the first story arc of Money Shot. It's uh, bagged, so I guess you guys uh, buying this for spank time. You got to take it home. But anyway, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's pretty cool sci-fi sex uh, story. I've kind of enjoyed it. It's a it's a good title, so uh, I would pick it up if you don't feel ashamed. And then here's this week's number one. Uh, so we have Superman villains. Um, I'm just, is this supposed to accompany the previous title as heroes? Um, kind of going into Superman's told everybody he's Clark Kent and how everybody responds to it. I wonder what the big gorilla is going to say. Eh, words. <laughs> Strange Academy, number one. That's going to be a whole bunch of shenanigans, it seems like. Uh, Spider-Man Noir, uh, which is cool because he hasn't got his own book in a hot minute. How come, they, how come they call this Spider-Man Noir, but they didn't call it Silver Surfer Noir? Oh, well, that's Silver Surfer Black. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I'm not in charge of that. Outer Darkness and Chu are going to be teaming up together in some sort of terrifying monstrosity. That's right. Uh, Tomorrow Belongs to You, which uh, Charles was saying this is essentially a man-eater collection of memes. 30 pages of memes. And you also get eight Ruth Bader Ginsburg $100 bills and uh, 
some uh, checks to pay the uh, was it the patriarchy for an apology fund. So it's it's, it's neat if you like uh, sort of uh, outsider art. Uh, then we have this is hard for me to read. Hellfighter Quinn. Oh gosh, that font is not my friend. Right, it's from Mad Cave. Uh, then King of Nowhere. It looks like oh, there's a lot of cool things happening in Nowhere. I really like this cover, and especially his fish balloon. It seems so content with life. Right, as a fish balloon would be. Queen of the Black Cast? Coast. Coast, yes. yes. This, <laughs> this is from uh, the sort of the Conan universe, um, and I guess uh, Ablaze is, uh, is basically selling this as an uncensored Conan type of story. It's a uh, yeah, it's, you know, soft art. All right, the crow. It's gonna be leaf. Lilith, leaf. Mm -hmm. That's my DW. Then dryad. From Oni. Yep, I can pronounce that. And then join the future. That's right. Join the future. The R R R Argus. Argus. <laughs> <laughs> Twin worlds. And one and of my favorites, pink, pink lemonade. lemonade, a really cool indie, uh, which is completely psychedelic and crazy looking. So uh, I like this. I'll definitely pick this up. Anyway, it's a lighter week than usual, but yeah. a lot of cool number one titles, uh, some cool indies, and of course, uh, good luck finding Batman. Well, y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.